All right, so in this video, I'm going to piss off a lot of people. I'm going to piss off black people especially, but also some white people, the American government, historians, and religious people all in one shot just concerning reparations and what really black people need to focus on and think about. And the question is, where did this, where did this video come from? It came from the fact that not only did someone send me a, a video about reparations from other sources, but they also sent me a video where... It was an older video of Louis Farrakhan, Minister Louis Farrakhan, talking about reparations. And we're going to dive a little bit deep into that video. No ill intent towards anyone. It's just the reality of what we're doing. And the fact of Akon has shown the way, yet so many people in America, so many people who have the finances, the ability, cannot do this. But we're also going to talk about how the average person can do it too. Because you're not, I'm not going to allow you to scapegoat rich people for not doing something that you yourself can do and start and begin. So what's up everybody, how you doing? This is your coach Rands, and today we are going to have a great discussion. Thank you for joining the Alchemical Mindset where the goal is to harness the 360 degrees of your spiritual mindset, your energy, and help you to develop to become the greatest version of yourself. For everyone who's a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the thumbs up, all that kind of happiness. Leave your comments. Love to have a discussion with you. And I want to thank all my patrons for all their support as well. Continue to share the video. You guys have been, are great. We're going to have a full moon conversation on the next full moon. Uh, and we're going to have a great time here. So, recently I was sent an, uh, a video uh, by one of my subscribers and on Facebook as well. Who sent me a video. One of the videos he sent me was concerning reparations and a speech that um, Louis Farrakhan made. I don't know how old the video is. Judging by the look of the video... It is probably a 10, 15, 20 year old video. Uh, within the video, of course, it, there's a lot of preaching that happens that gets the people excited. But his primary message was concerning the fact that black people have never received reparations and that we're, we, we're going to go get them reparations. He talks about how other racial groups who were oppressed by America has received reparations. Uh, Jewish people have received reparations and, and America still continues to spend millions and billions of dollars sent to Israel. But what is Israel really doing for America? Nothing. But they are receiving billions of dollars a year. Uh, we just saw in the stimulus package um, that came out that was proposed, proposed uh, right before Trump was out of office, the stimulus package has so much pork that was going towards uh, gender enhancement teachings in Pakistan and all these other places where millions and millions of dollars were going to foreign aid for different things that didn't make sense. And I understand that concept that you're spending so much money on these other people, whereas you haven't taken care of the people whose homes and businesses were burnt down in Tulsa. You see, Although Japanese descendants received reparations for the internment camps that they were placed in in the 1940s, black people whose homes and businesses were bombed in the Tulsa massacre never received reparation. All the former slaves who put their money into the Freeman Bank after World War, after the Civil War, but then that money was only loaned out to land-owning white males in the South to reclaim the land that they lost. Those people, those descendants, never receive any reparation. For all the black men and women who were hung and raped throughout the American history just because they were black, no reparations have ever been given to them. For the destruction of... Uh, places like Edenville uh, in Florida, for Wilmington, South, Car South Carolina, for all, I mean, North Carolina, for all these places where black people were striving under an oppressive system, no reparations have ever been paid to these people. No class asking suits have ever progressed and been paid to these people, but yet we give so much money to other groups. I understand what Louis Farrakhan and many other people say about that. I understood how he was t saying that for white America to have grown into what they are, not only on the backs of slaves, not only on the warring against the native, but through manifest destination of giving away land to all these white people who was willing to go out to the Midwest and West in order to, to, to strengthen their foundation, to build America, these things happened. The land was vital and the land still 
is vital. Now the problem that we have is that although he's doing a bit of double talk, and he's doing this thing of double think. If you if you are of the 1984 Orwellian understanding, uh, the idea of double think, double talk is when you will blast the negative of something, but yet stay situated in your position to be able to maintain the co the, the current state of things, where you're not you're you're. You're not really doing anything. You're kind of standing still floating. And I thought about that for a minute because here's the truth of it. I could point out how Akon, who does not have the wealth of the nation of Islam, does not have the wealth of a Oprah Winfrey or Byron Scott or um, doesn't have the same amount of wealth as many professional athletes, as many business owners, as many entertainers in America, black Americans, but is, was able to go and buy 2,000 acres of land in Senegal and his city, Akon City, which will have his own currency, is set to open in, two, in 2026. That he's doing what reparations should be about. He's doing what he knows the American government is never going to accept. Do, do you really think that Louis Farrakhan is going to honestly charge the American government with reparations? Do you really think that any politician is honestly going to go ahead and try to get reparations through the American government? When Malcolm X decided that he was going to file a, a suit against America in the UN, he was, he was assassinated. When Dr. King started speaking about the fact that giving Americans the right, the black Americans the right to vote didn't cost America anything and, and, and integrating America, black Americans, into white America actually benefited financially white America, that when he started saying that in order for America to truly equalize black people so that we have the same opportunities to prove how unequal each individual is, that it would cost America in the trillions, well, billions and trillions of dollars, that 11 months later, he was assassinated. So if you really think any of these people are going to stand up to this, then you're delusional. You think Farrakhan is going to, it's not going to happen. Now, if I was in Minister Farrakhan's position, instead of talking, he can walk it in the same way Akon is. Let me give you an example. But before I give you the example, let me explain why it won't happen. If Minister Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam is completely successful, then he will become the most powerful black man in the world, for one. But for two, he will be held at a higher level of responsibility at this point and a higher level of scrutiny. Now, although he will become the most powerful black man in the world, that level of scrutiny, that level of... Um, magnification on what you're doing changes things. The other aspect of it is that if he does that, then the ability to continue to sell people on oppression, being oppressed, and sell people on hope, and sell people on, you know, the big brother that's beating you down, that ability to sell people, which is primary for religions, it is incredibly primary for religions to sell you either on you are above everyone else or you are being oppressed by everyone else. And there is hope and glory in the future. If I can't sell you hope, then I lose my power. So that's their big sell ticket. That's the big sell ticket. But if he's successful, he will become the most powerful black man in the world. If he is moderately successful then he still gets to sell hope because he can point out that the oppression of the government blocked all his aims. But he does not gain any more prestige and he loses his ability to truly just sell hope because that scrutiny is still on him. Now, if he, is, if he fails, if he tries to do it, if the government interferes, he can still blame the government. But if the government does not interfere and he fails, then he loses all his power. And that fear of losing all your power will hold many people back from trying to achieve anything, which is one of the reasons why when I get to the way that you individually can do this, that fear will hold you back 
from achieving this. Now, a person who is controlling something as large as the nation of Islam has the finances and has the people and has the mentality of the people, the will of the people to be able to say that we're going to go to Texas, we're going to go to Wyoming, we're going to go to Colorado, we're going to go to Mississippi, whatever state they choose. We or Maybe even a whole country. We're going to go down to Haiti and we're going to buy up 2,000 acres of land and we're going to build you know, Mecca America, whatever you want to call it, whatever the city is, whatever the, the county, the state, we're going to build a nation state within the nation. Much in the same way that the Native Americans have their reservations, um, that America granted the, the these reservations to the five civilized tribes, in that same format, a person like that can call for all Muslims to come to middle Georgia, lower Alabama so that they have a port, or Mississippi so that they have a port, a port city, buy up all the land in that area and effectively build their own town, keep, continue to grow it until it becomes its own nation state, have its own currency that is only traded in that town, or in that nation state. A person with that kind of power can do that. With that kind of following, not only can they do it based on the money. See, Akon is doing it based on the money. He does have some government backing, but most of it is based on money. A person like Farrakhan can do it not just on money, but on the people as well. Can control all the laws within that county. Can control all the... The, the lines of the schooling, can control the schooling, can control the police, can control the fire department in the much the same way Akon will have his own fire department, his own police force, his own airport, on his 2,000 2, acres of land. This can be achieved by the nation of Islam if desired so, if he's willing to actually walk the walk. Because we know America is not just going to grant land, 40 acres in the mule, that was promised by a union general. That was never promised by the Congress of America nor the President of America. That was promised by a Union general in order to get former slaves to fight on his side. But if we were to take that idea of 40 acres and a mule, he can do it. If you got two or three, if you got a, a, a T.D. Jakes and a Creflo Dollar and... And of course, a few other high profile ministers will follow suit. If they came together, seven of them came together and decided that they were going to go and buy all the land and build it because they got enough money to go buy all the land and build the town, build their own towns, establish their own police force, the fire department, their own hospitals and everything. They have the people and they have the money to do it. But then there comes the responsibility of running it. Of making it function. Akon is willing to take on that responsibility. Many African nations are taking on that responsibility. Ghana has offered for black Americans to come there and give them citizenship and help them purchase land and you go there and start, it's easier to start a business. Rwanda has made it incredibly easy for a black American or actually anybody in, in the diaspora to go and start a business and move to Rwanda and Tanzania and as the East African Federation forms which will become a superpower in the next 30 years uh, if they when they form the East African Federation, the opportunity is there, but it is not he here in America unless an organization or a group of people is willing to do that. Now, and let me tell you why. When you read the preamble of the Constitution, you got to read it a little differently. We can't read it the way that it's written. You got to read it by reading between the lines. So if I was reading it to you, I wouldn't read it as it says, we the people of the United States. I would read it as we land owning white men of the United States in order to form a per more perfect union for land owning white Christian men to establish justice for land owning white Christian men to ensure the domestic tranquility for land owning white men provide for the common defense of the land for the, of the land owning white men promote the general welfare of the land owning, owning white men and keep everyone else at bay and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves the land owning white men and our prosperity the children of the land owning white men do ordain and establish this constitution of the land owning white men of America 
That is how the preamble would be read if you actually read it with the mindset of the culture of the country that still is prevalent today. Because we know that according to the law, if you look up in the law books, black mean black has a meaning of death, non-existence. So a black American is an American who is dead and non-existent, which is not covered by the law, which is why the 13th Amendment uh, made sure it says that the only form of slavery can be the slavery of incarceration, which is why black people are incarcerated at a higher level than white people and our sentencing is generally longer because it is a sec it is the prison industrial complex that maintains slavery in America for black people. Now, let's just be honest, you're not going to be able to get your freedom in America unless you do what Akon is doing in Senegal in America. And is that possible for the average person? Because many of you in the comments or who have already left are thinking that we need to get Oprah and we need to get Michael Jordan and we need to get LeBron and we need to get Denzel and we need to get all these other high profile multi multi-millionaire black people to do this but yet the problem is you don't realize what you can do on your own 19 black families in to near Toonsboro Georgia bought almost 97 acres of land of a town that was bankrupt and they're building their own town they just did this last summer in 2020 in 2020, the summer of 2020, in the middle of a pandemic, in the middle of, of a recession, they went to South Georgia, 19 families, none of them wealthy, 19 families bought almost 97 acres of land, will institute their own police force, their own fire department, their own school, they're growing their own crops, bought pretty much a whole town and, will, and are establishing their own town as a safe haven for black people near Toonsbury, Georgia. Called, I think they're calling it Freedom, Georgia is the name that they're proposing. But 19 families led by two 20-something year old real estate agents out of East Atlanta. None of them millionaires. So that means that you can do it. That means that you can do and if you're part of our now, I'm not even going to do that as a full moon talk. I'm going to do that as a live. I'm, I will plan a live where I will discuss how to create a family bank. If you're willing to invest a little bit to have a whole lot, willing to take the patience that it takes to develop something, you can be a part of getting your own reparations because the government will never, ever, ever, ever give it to you. You will either have to take it by force, which black people only represent a small portion of the population in America, 30 million versus 400 million. You don't have the numbers. We don't have the technology. We don't have the funding to be able to do it. Too many of the funding of those who make money in America is tied up into the American economy. They're not going to take that money to fund a true revolution that more than likely is doomed to fail. The American revolution is didn't face what you would face going against the Amer going against America today. So taking it by force is not going to happen. 99% of you will re would refuse to move to Haiti or Senegal or like Rwanda or any of these countries where we have that key opportunity of that key thing that Farrakhan was talking about. We got the land. African nations are becoming free and independent and they are an amazing place. The most burgeoning economies in the world are happening in Africa. Over the next 30 years, you will see the power, the economic power play will shift. Whereas Africa didn't have a cocoa refinery, they're building a cocoa refinery. And since they produce 70% of cocoa in the world, that's, that's a huge impactful thing. They're building in Nigeria the first oil refinery. That's a hugely impactful thing. There are so many developing things. Tanzania is building a rail system that will connect all of East Africa. Hugely impactful. The East African Federation, hugely impactful. The former French nations are moving away from allowing France to maintain their currency. A hugely impactful thing. If you don't recognize it, Africa is the place to go to build. Uncle Ren's popcorns here in America. Within three years, it will there will be locations in different African nations. African is Africa is the place to go, but most of you will not. 
And since you will not, since you are westernized, your best opportunity to gain reparations is to buy a damn city, buy a town, by purchasing all the land. So, if you want to do that, pay attention to when I do this next live. I'm going to show you how to build a family bank. It ain't got nothing to do with me doing it. It's all about y'all. You do this and you'll be able to get that done. You'll be able to make this happen for you. So, I hope you, are, you this has been informational for you guys, motivational for you, inspirational for you. And if you got pissed off at me, well, good. At least you got some kind of emotional response that might make you get up and do something and challenge your ministers, challenge your pastors, challenge your political leaders, challenge yourself and your family and your neighbors so that y'all can build something true and sustainable. So y'all have a great day. Remember, you have to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journeys, good vibration.